Hey there students, this is a tutorial on chapters 11 and 12 and also uh, chapters 13 and 14. So we're going to really quickly review chapters 11 and 12 and talk about this sensitive topic a little bit and try to help you with some of the connections that we can make between chapter 12 and the domestic abuse will. I want to talk about these really briefly and I want you to kind of keep track. Was, were these some of the examples that you got from the text? You may have found something else, but hopefully you, uh, you keyed on, on some of these things that are happening in the home. All right, so let's take a look at the text. I'm going to go ahead and look at my book here and just kind of share out some page numbers and some corresponding parts of the wheel here. Um, in Chapter 11, we see that Mr. Freeman is spending extended time with Maya, who is not a blood relative at home. And while this isn't always necessarily a bad thing, I think a lot of us could relate to maybe having a stepfather or stepmother. Mr. Freeman's actually a boyfriend, and he's spending lots of time at home with Maya um, and alone time. This would be a red flag for a social worker. Um, oftentimes, if uh, social workers go into a situation like this and they see something like that, um, they're going to note this. And so that's just something that is a, an aside to this whole situation here. It's not something you had to answer on your page. Just want to note that, um, that we should be aware of those types of things and those, those situations that are not healthy. Um, all right, so chapter 11, uh, what's the first thing that we can say um, that was an example of, uh, of domestic abuse and, and seeing some effects on the kids? So um, um, uh, he says this, this is Mr. Freeman, if you ever tell anyone what we did, I'll have to kill Bailey, page 74. So the threat to kill is a clear sign of intimidation. In a lot of cases, it's more subtle. But in this case, he just tells her directly that I'm going to kill your brother. Um, just shocking. Um, page 74, um, we start to see that Maya is isolating. This was the first secret I'd ever kept from Bailey. So she's keeping these secrets from him. So this is an example of uh, isolation. She's keeping a harmful secret, um, something that she's not going to even tell her best friend. Um, in uh, the words of her own words in the other chapter, her kingdom come, the person that she looks up most, her best friend in the whole world, that's Bailey. Um, in chapter 12, um, we start to see um, more specific things. Uh, page 78, um, this is more intimidation. Mr. Freeman walks up to her, she's in the bed. If you scream, I'm going to kill you. Okay. Um, and then we start to see uh, uh, some of that fear for her on page 78. I whispered to him, I thought if I spoke out loud, he might become frightened and hurt me again. So she's starting to isolate, okay? Those social skills are starting to diminish. She's, she's not able to, to interact and she's, she's isolating. She's not trusting. Um, she's going to keep harmful secrets. So now she's not starting to speak. So an example of isolation. Page 79, abuse and isolation. Again, uh, I went up the stairs one at a time, one at a time. No one was in the living room. And so I went straight to bed. So she's she's avoiding, right? And her mother realizes this. She says, when mother came in, she said, well, young lady, I believe this is the first time I've seen you go to bed without being told you must be sick. So an example of abnormal behavior, um, where does this fall? Well, it could be physical and mental effects um, where we see um, children acting out in, in odd ways. So um, demanding and withdrawn, Okay. It could be demanding or withdrawn. In this case, she's withdrawn. She's actually keeping secrets, but she's withdrawn. It's showing an outward sign. So mother's hopefully going to figure this out later that something's wrong. Um, page 80, intimidation. If you tell, if you tell, uh, Mr. Freeman's uh, getting closer to her as he says this. Um, isolation on page 81. Could I tell her now what he did to me and what I allowed must have been very bad if already God let me hurt so much. So she's blaming herself, and she believes that God is actually on Mr. Freeman's side. So this is terrible, but normal for a child to doubt reality um, uh, and having fear of doing wrong. Um, you can see this. So this would fall under emotional abuse. Um, uh, another part of the chapter here at the very end um, gets really specific. And I apologize for all the specific things. I think Maya does that on purpose to shock us uh, by the situation. Well, let's find out what happens to Mr. Freeman, right? Some of you may have read ahead. So what happens to him? Um, in this next uh, two chapters right here, what you're going to do is write that down. What happened to Mr. Freeman? Um, and then what do you think really happened? You're going to become a detective in chapters 13 and 14. Read these chapters. Write down your AP answer down here. And look closely on pages 86 and 87 for that. All right, guys, we'll talk later.